Well, hello, everybody. Uh, hello, hello, hello. Okay, I think we're on and we're okay. And I'm just going to uh, uh, just say howdy. How are you? This is our, we do this. This is called a pop-up show. We don't we don't do it uh, in the traditional way where I have all the all the graphics and things like that going on. In fact, I should even turn on my light. There we go. Now I look better. Okay. Anyway. Uh, and we get a lot of people. There are a lot of people waiting out there. Wow. Wow. Okay. Well, I better just start admitting them uh, right now. Admit all. Watch them pop up. There it comes uh, uh, Jeff, and there comes Steve Bender, and there comes, uh, let me see, uh, Shecky's there, and uh, Scott Boddicker is there, and Mike Chisholm is there, and Andrew Deutsch is there, and uh, Leonard Lofrisco. Or <laughs> what they call you, Leo, or do they call you Leonard? Uh, no, just Len. My dad was Leo. Oh, Len. <laughs> Len. Okay. I'll change it. Uh, okay, no, that's fine. <laughs> I like I like it when people use their their full names. Uh, we have Richard Sheckman here. <laughs> At least that's the way he always comes up every time on my. Uh, Stuff. How, how are you, Shaggy? What's happening? Absolutely nothing. Well, nothing exciting happened today? Like maybe uh, the coffee maker took a little longer than usual? No, the people dropping the kids off at school blocked my driveway, but I had nowhere to go, so... Yeah, yeah. So I let it go. They're dropping their little infections off at the... Uh, at the school. Yeah, and they decide that's a good place to park is my double driveway. Any parent I have ever known, okay, has said that the greatest way they catch colds and stuff is from their kids. Because they go to school and they get all these things. And it's good for the kids to get them because they become immune to them and so on and so forth. But they bring them home and dad, uh, you know. Well, talk to Tony's sister. Now, what is happening with Scott Boddicker? I haven't seen you in a while, Scott. You uh, you have a pigtail now? <laughs> Two pigtails. Well, who are you turning into? Willie Nelson? <laughs> On the road again? <laughs> <laughs> is that is that is that your COVID hair? Is that what it is? And it just kept growing and kept it's like, growing. It's like Trump, Trump hair. Trump hair. Oh yeah. I figured if he could have bad hair, I could have bad hair. Well, but you said you weren't going to get a haircut until he was no longer president. Until he's out of office, yes. Yeah. So that's you're going to get a haircut in a couple of weeks? That's that's the rumor. That's the rumor. I, I I've kind of I'm kind of used to it now, so I, I don't know if I want to cut it. But everyone keeps asking, when you getting here? When you getting here? When you getting here? When I feel like it. Well, you know, you could oh, lead yeah. it that way to piss people off. Your friends well, talk funny. Like Letterman and the creepy beard. Letterman yeah, with exactly. the creepy beard. That's... Yeah. Letterman, you say, Shecky, you believe, did it because he just wanted to annoy people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've told you, his wife hates it. His son hates it. Everyone yeah. we know hates it. So he's going to keep it. <laughs> he's going to keep it. I saw a thing he did with uh, Peyton Manning. Yeah. yeah, I didn't see uh, that. It's very good. I mean, I and I'm not. I you know, I hardly even know who Peyton Manning is, uh, but uh, it, they decide they're going to redo the way football is played, and they've got this whole new rule book. And so they get this team out, Ball State, out on the field, and then they make them go through all these new. The best one I thought was raising the the height of the goalpost every every quarter. And so they had this, uh, this you know, one of these machines. It's a lift, and it kept lifting it and lifting it, and they kept kicking it over. You know, but it's very funny. It's almost like a bit Letterman would have done on his old show. You know, but uh, he changed the rules of football. So, well, the goalposts used to be right at the edge of the. Um, what do you call? It? Yeah. Goal. Yeah. The goal. The end zone. The end zone. And now they're back, aren't they? Yeah, they moved him back, yeah. yeah. Um, and then there was another rule was uh, if something or something happens, the two team mascots have to wrestle each other. <laughs> so they, you got to watch this thing. It's very fun. Anybody else see it? You saw it. Yeah, right? I watched it. It's really good. A joke that David always had was that uh, 
if something or other, if two consecutive first downs happened, then you could run a play with two balls. That's a joke he would make a lot. And they actually got to see it run. And that was very satisfying for the Letterman fan to see. Yeah. Now, I don't know a lot about football, but I even laughed at it. So, you know. Is it one of our places? Because it's ESPN Plus, which I don't get. Is it ESPN Plus? Well, it's one of our places. You can get it. But that's where I got okay. it. Okay. I mean, all I saw... Free okay. online. If I had just seen Peyton Manning... Hold on a second. I have to get a tissue here. If I had just seen Peyton Manning, okay, uh, I probably wouldn't have downloaded it, but it said Peyton Manning letter. Well, he apparently has a talk show on ESPN Plus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like a half hour show, six yeah. episodes a year or whatever. But it was it was really delightful. It was really fun to watch. And the other thing I watched Well, they've been very good friends. Yeah. The other thing I watched, and uh I at the beginning I just watched it because oh, it's there. Okay, it's on and on Hulu was a documentary about uh what's his name? Uh Roger Ailes and his history. Ooh. And then the inside stuff about what went on at Fox. I mean, that he literally bugged every single office in the building so he could listen into conversations. You're not supposed to do it. Alan Funt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, who did you say about? And he had cameras. He had, cam he had hidden cameras in everyone's office. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that he was he was paranoid. He thought the whole world was out to get him. Uh which it wasn't, but... Yeah. Well, Barry Sand used to have his desk because he produced the Snyder Show uh -huh. when we took over. And it was a desk the size of my bedroom. Who? Uh, Barry Sand? Roger Ailes. Um, Roger Ailes. Oh, Barry Sand kept the desk. Oh, got the desk? Yeah. What? Because Ailes was the last producer of the Snyder Show when oh, Snyder... Oh, was he really? Oh, yeah. They don't mention that in this one. They talk about Mike Douglas. And then they talk about him starting America Talking over what then became MSNBC. And that got him mad enough that he wanted to start a competition to it. So he went over and convinced Murdoch to. Well, they, they've glossed over his Tom Snyder career. Why, I wonder? Don't know. Maybe because it got canceled. Now, this was the Snyder show when it was what, at NBC? At NBC. Really? So yeah. much. I didn't know that he I, that he ever did this the, the, that. Yeah, well, he did the show, and I just always remember Barry kept his desk. Yeah. And as soon as Morty took over, the desk went. Did you hear this week the ratings came out and Newsmax is beating Fox in key demographics? <laughs> uh, Twenty nine uh, to forty five males are more watching Newsmax than Fox because it's more moronic than Fox. Absolutely. I mean, you you could watch Newsmax for any amount of time, and Fox starts looking good. <laughs> Those liberals over at Fox. This week, a guy posted on something that I had written mm -hmm. that Mitch McConnell has proven now that he's a liberal plant. And he should be executed, I assume. Yeah. No, they didn't talk about execution, but he needs to be called out as a liberal plant because he didn't agree with the president. Oh. <laughs> well, did you see today our president, or Mr. Trump, gave Devin Nunes his Medal of Freedom. No press, no TV, no nothing. Devin De Nunes gets a Medal of Freedom? Devin Nunes Nunes and, Jim, and Jim Jordan. And Jim Jordan yeah. as well. For what, for what? reason? That's for, being loyal, That's for, being, for being loyal cronies. I mean, we, Jim we, Jordan we, got it for freeing his hand from little boys in the locker room. We don't usually talk much about politics on this show, but I got to tell you, that's horrible because all the people that get the Medal of Freedom, you know, they're like people who were brave or they fought yeah. for or, or whatever, and they're giving it to Nunes and well, who's the other guy? Jim Jordan. Jim, Jim Jordan. Jordan. What did they ever about? fucking do that was brave that gets the Medal of Freedom? What about Rush Limbaugh getting his? I mean, I quickly read it. It has to do with he supported him in his impeachment hearings, and he, you know, blah blah blah. Yeah, but that's blah, not the blah, reason blah, you blah. give people the Medal of Freedom. Well, you don't pardon people unless they you know Trump suffered or? either. You know, the pardons and this—it's it's all absurd. By the way, yeah, if you I'm get a chance to, to watch politics about that or football Saturday, yeah, what if you get a chance to watch you know, with the um, Secretary of State. 
Oh yeah, well that that in Jordan that, in um, Georgia. Oh that thing, yeah. What were you going to say, Andrew? The the press conference that was just on from the Secretary of State or the head of elections, I forget which what he is. Point by point by point, this is what the president said. Here's the fact. This is what he said. Here's the fact. This is what he said, even though he knew this and we provided this to him. And this is the fact. It was brilliant. Really? I well, mean, I mean but his people will not believe it. So it doesn't no, matter. Imagine, imagine the phone calls that we're not hearing. Now we've heard this one. Yeah. Well, supposedly, yeah. a lot of these things he was saying in that phone call were QAnon theories. They're insane. Yeah. yeah. It's insane. Yeah. I think something really bad is going to happen on Wednesday. But, but Steve, Steve, remember, you're never going to change that 20% of lunatics that believe everything he says. Right. There is a percentage who voted for him that already are buyer regret. It's the I number know. in the re most recent poll, I think, his approval among Republicans is down 8 to 10%. Yeah. But um, there's going to be violence on Wednesday, right? He's calling oh, yeah. for it. He's asking well, for he it. He said, come, come Wednesday to Washington. It's going to be wild they come to the wild well, really go the said that's their only choice right the hotel where the the proud boys have been hanging out in the bar <laughs> they've shut down they're not going to open that day and, and lawsuits were filed by the county in palm beach to shut down mar lago because they violated the no party rules for covid so yeah, it's Bill, one thing I after another after another it's kind of fun to watch gomert's actually calling for violence on yes he is yeah hey, yeah yeah, he's 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 walked it back, but he said it. You know, we talk we're talking about affecting things. Uh, they bring up in this documentary that Ailes had some problems up near where he lives, up in Cold Springs or something. I can't. I don't remember the name of the city up in uh, Upper New York. And he uh, he he wanted to do changes to his property, and they weren't allowed by ordinance. And so he went out and bought the newspaper, yep. the local newspaper. <laughs> and started printing things and stuff to try and get everything changed. And finally, he went to a, uh, a meeting of the city council or whatever and told the mayor that he was not going to get reelected because he was going to make sure he didn't. And he got reelected. <laughs> uh, but, you know, there's this this idea. Um, and he, of course, was a Trump supporter. And, and he and Trump were pals. I mean, Trump did a lot of work and stuff for, for Ailes. Um, and, uh, that was kind of reminded me a little bit of Trump in this long call, you know, that, that you think you can change things just because you've got power. And the fact is that what you're trying to change is mutable. You, d it doesn't, it doesn't change the, 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 what's happening. Well, he, he, yeah, you've read, he said he won by hundreds of thousands <laughs> of votes in Georgia, but could you just turn 12,000 votes over to me? And if you yeah. listen to him, he's constantly putting the words in the mouth of the person he's speaking to and then agreeing with them. It's it's the the, the off the dictator's uh, <laughs> market. Well, basically, what he was asking the secretary of state to do is fix the election. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I he, he, you he, know, he, I won by hundreds of prosecuted of later down the line for that, I imagine. I just want you to find 12,000 votes. Several, yeah. uh, what's his name? Lou, the, the senator or congressman from California, mm -hmm. filed a complaint with the FBI demanding an investigation today. Yes, yeah. it'll be interesting to see what Trump says tonight in Georgia. Well, right? My question is, like, he, he did this while he was in office. Is he still culpable, culpable, <laughs> culpable after he's out of office? Not if he gets pardoned unless, because he broke both federal and state laws. Yeah. Georgia has specific laws and so does the Fed. So right, he pardoned, he can't be the state but of Georgia. Would. Yeah, but now how is he? Is he going to? Is he able to pardon himself? Do we? Do we? No. Find out. <laughs> no, no. So he Pence has got to be president for a day, right? But yeah. I don't think Pence would pardon him because Pence wants to be president someday. But, well, he will be for a day. No, well, but he <laughs> wants to run in 2024. Does, if, if he gets to be president for a day, does he get to give an acceptance speech? Because that that should take up most of the time. <laughs> the way not again we say politics. Those morons who want like this ten day moratorium on the electoral college. If it goes past the twentieth, Nancy Pelosi is president. Yeah, yeah, she just got reelected speaker. I don't know why, yeah. but 
by the skin of her teeth. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Well, then she'd have to she'd have to um, step down as speaker, and then she wouldn't get it back. I don't think so. No, she doesn't have to step down. Well, get away, president. Yes, she would. To get away. Yeah. No, no, she would be acting president. She would not be president like the vice president's president when he takes. So she won't get a library. <laughs> no, she won't get a library. She will not be the forty seventh president. She will be. She would be acting president. Oh, it's uh, in other president words, it's, it's not, you don't something. become full president. You become acting president. Right. Okay. Anybody past the vice president, the vice president suppose, is the only one that say, actually let's, becomes president. Let's just say for argument that the that somewhere along the line in the first two months of the presidency, both the president and the vice president get killed off in some horrible, hellacious accident. Okay. <laughs> That's different. And yeah. when America finally notices, she gets to become president. The acting Full president. president. Then. Huh? Yeah, then she would have to resign. Yeah. She would have to resign. So then she would be full president. She wouldn't she would be, be acting then. She would be full. If they died or were permanently disabled, then she would become full president. Oh, okay. Because I wondered if we would then have to go for the next three years and, with an acting president. And ICUs all over the country will be filled with, with brain aneurysm explosions among <laughs> <laughs> There'll be smoke shooting out of right wing ears. It'll be, it'll be. Time to start thinking about maybe making, lame, making this lame duck president period shorter. Yeah. This two and a half months is proving to be very dangerous, right? Yeah, yeah. It used to be longer. Yes, I know. It used to be till March. Yeah, I know. Yeah, well, yeah. At least March twentieth, I think, or something. Yeah. March fifteenth. Uh, I guess the reason we're kind of talking politics today is because it is coming towards the end of this thing, and and. This man seems to be imploding, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, it, I'm, it's very dangerous. Today, the uh, past uh, secretaries of defense yeah. mm -hmm. all signed a letter with, to the New York Times. It was an op-ed in the New York Times. Including Dick Cheney. Including Dick Cheney, who, yeah. had, if you remember, was the uh, secretary of defense at one point, yeah. uh, saying that, you know, watch out and take care and to the military don't do anything if you're asked to you know um they really think there's a problem there oh look who's coming in here hold on a second uh, is it trump is he coming in no no. <laughs> no it's the only female in the group and and she's doing it from our uh, from our lovely uh uh kitchen <laughs> <laughs> I am in such a bitchy mood. I'm on hold right now with HSBC. Why are so you? I should turn my audio on. Why? Why are you? Why are you? Oh, you you you're having. I'm going to turn the. I'm going to turn the audio off. Well, okay, so you can talk to them. <laughs> <laughs> and she's had some problem with HSBC today uh, at work. Uh, <clears throat> And it's a Chinese bank. That's the problem. Yeah, Hong Kong. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But anyway, uh, no, I was going to say, I, I get, it was doing something today, and we can get back to this. Uh, I, I'm in a bidding war on GoDaddy yeah. auctions. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm in a bidding war. Uh, all of a sudden, Gabnet.com became available. <laughs> now, I don't need it because... <laughs> Gabnet.net is oh really sounds good. You know, it's yeah. gabnet.net. Yeah. A lot of times if it had been dot com, people would say gabnet.net dot com. You yeah. know, I mean they, they wouldn't be able to figure it out. So I I like what I got, but I just don't want anybody to have gabnet.com. Hey Alex, mm -hmm. Alex, uh then mow me a grand or I'm gonna start bidding. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what happened is this is a really heated uh, 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 bidding war. Uh, I got in and all of a sudden it said to me, well, the lowest bid now is 35. So I went 40 and they said, no, that's taken 45. There's some automatic bidding that was going on there. Yeah, that's and, how it works. And, 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 no, I don't know how people that put their max bid. So as you bid, if you don't hit their max, you have to keep bidding till you, you surpass it. Oh, I see. So if, if right now the bid was 30 and you bid 70 and the max bid was 40, your bid would just go to 40 with a reserve up to 70. So you put up max bid. Yeah. 
So it will always go up $5 or what one jump one went ahead of it. Well, anyway, I finally got out ahead of it and I put in a hundred dollars and some guy today and this sat that way for two days. Some person came along and bid 105. So I have 110 and now I'm the high bidder. Well, you should wait towards the end of the auction. Don't get into a pissing war. You yeah, always, always something. wait till 10 minutes before to do your bidding. Hmm. There's no reason. Uh, no I'm not going to go over 200. I just, I mean, I don't care that much. Yeah. If, that's, if that's the case, if that's the case, wait until about 20, 30 seconds before it's over. <laughs> Put in $200. And then... If his max bid is above that, you lose. If it's not, you'll be just above him and he won't have time. Done. Yeah. 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 With like eBay, they even have sites where you can pre-program it so that you don't miss that 30 second increment mm -hmm. yeah good lord yeah but i i don't i i don't know why there are people bidding for it and they're not bidding aggressively for it okay yeah for all i know it's the guy that used to own it mm -hmm. uh, you know that's good i can get the proceeds out of this trying to raise the price you know get well, it. that's why you shouldn't be bidding against yourself in that sense yeah so just yeah. don't bid till tomorrow like a couple of minutes beforehand at like one minute before, throw in two hundred bucks and see what see what happens. Yeah, yeah, that'd be. Well, I won't throw in two hundred bucks if the high one is one hundred and ten. I'll go one hundred and fifteen. No, you, don't know you go two hundred and cover you, and if it's one ten, you'll get it at one fifteen. Yep. What do you mean? If it's one ten, I'll get it. Okay, let me let me explain. Your max <laughs> bid, it's in five dollar increments. Okay, mm -hmm. so if the current bid is thirty, mm -hmm. and he put a max bid of fifty. If you bid 35, it goes up to 40 as the next bid. Okay, but I, I But if you if his max bid was 90 and you put in 100, it'll go to 95. Yeah, but I don't know where I go for max bid. That's you don't say it, you just do it. You just do it. So if if right now the it was at $30 on the screen and and he had bid whatever and you bid 100, mm -hmm. if that was his maximum bid. By the way, I'm getting, drinking cheap champagne and ice. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on a second. We're trying to figure something. Yeah. Out. So let me let me let me make it simpler, Alex. So say say he bid a flat fifty bucks, and that's where the bid is right now. Mm -hmm. If you bid a hundred, it's going to go to fifty five. Your your bid will be fifty five. No. You have, when, I, when I bring it up, it usually goes up to that higher price. What then? Then it's a weird auction site. Yeah, it's a different auction. Yeah. This is not like eBay. That's strange. I, yeah. I just put in my five hundred dollar bid, so I want whatever. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, that won't beat my six hundred dollar bid, Glenn. Well, let's see here. But my so I have, I'm at one hundred and ten, and this person has not come back in many many hours here. When is uh, this over? He may uh, be waiting for the end. He could be, but I. Why would he bid now then? Because he gave up. Because he sees it doing. He's telling. Someone gave him the same advice we're giving you. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Okay, so you're you're getting the minds of other people. I am. Yeah, it's it's a psychic thing. So, Marjorie, have you been able to contact HSBC? I'm on hold. <laughs> Twenty six minutes. Twenty six minutes. We have thirteen cards, and I manage all of them. Most of them have been sent out to Beijing, Shanghai, and Hong Kong. And one other in the US. So I was able to activate my card and my boss's card this morning, no problem. Except when I went to use it, it asked me for a fucking pin number. <laughs> when it gets to 30, sell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still on hold. I am drinking cheap, cheap champagne and ice. It's the only thing that's holding me together. <laughs> How do you drink cheap Sam champagne and ice with a Trump supporter? The only supporter? thing that doesn't make me itch. Wasn't that a part of the lyric in a song? Cheap, cheap. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Hotel California. Except Probably. that was cheap champagne on ice. <laughs> with ice. Anyway, so you say I should not do anything now. Not till the end of the auction. Hmm. Okay. All right. I'll, uh, I'll wait until tomorrow. I have 20 hours and 24 minutes. So that would put it at uh, what time tomorrow? Uh, 20, 8 o'clock at night. 20 hours. Uh, no, 1 o'clock or so. Right? 
one o'clock in the. Oh, yeah, I'm going the wrong way. You better refresh because it's actually 19 hours and 47 minutes. <laughs> if it's 20 hours and 24 minutes, well, let me let me re so so Alex, being that that auction site works differently, like about, about five minutes mm -hmm. before the auction's over, mm -hmm. bid up about five bucks and see if if he's still bidding, mm -hmm. and then if he if he does bid, you need to decide what your max you're willing to pay and bid it at the last second and do it at the last second, right? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. Let me see here. I'm still the high bidder. It's 19 hours and 47 minutes. So that would make it uh, like what? What? Oh. mid noon. It, it, oh, says it, it says it ends at yeah, 12 13 tomorrow, Eastern. 12 13 tomorrow, Eastern? Yeah. Okay. Yep. 12 13. Let me write that down. <laughs> 12 13. Yeah. So that's like 12, like Alexa. What you, bid, you know. I just go on at 12. That's easy to remember. I'll tell you, I never bid before on anything. Whoops, excuse me. 12, 13. I never bid on anything before. Uh, oh, I, bought I my went children. and bought some stuff on eBay. <laughs> there was an auction for something. And so I did it. And I, I waited till, wait till the last minute. And then I'm going up and somebody else is doing it, going up. Blah, 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 and I won. I got it. And I'm <laughs> wow, I got it. Or, or way more than I really was planning on spending here. <laughs> you know, oh, I, I want it. <laughs> but there's a thrill. It's like gambling. Mm -hmm. You know. Year, years ago, Alex, I bought an elliptical, a real high-end elliptical machine. Mm -hmm. And it was, I think the retail on it was like $5,000. Mm -hmm. And I bid the opening bid of, I think it was $180 for it, which was the opening bid. Mm -hmm. And nobody else bid. And then I realized that they were just as dumb as me because I misspelled elliptical. And that's why nobody could find it. Oh. <laughs> I bought this $5,000 machine for 190 bucks. Wow. Because <laughs> I can't spell either. <laughs> uh, Steve, get some, uh, turn some lights on. You, you're very dark now. It's getting dark here. It is, it is getting dark. Yeah, it's getting dark outside. Yeah, here we go. Well, no, but you remember, Alex, I told you that story when I was selling some cartoons. And there were two guys who I know who were having a pissing match and they went $450 each. Mm -hmm. And then there was one cartoon that one of the guys already had and that one sold for 40 bucks. Mm. Mm. You just want to find two guys who I call get into a pissing match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good point. Uh, but, uh, you know, I mean, I'll see what happens tomorrow. I mean, I don't need it. I would just like to have it then nobody else can use it. Right, I'll just let it sit there. Put it, you know, bank, what do they call? It? Kind of bank it so that you just, just go to it and point it to your website. Well, I, would probably, I would probably do that, but I'm wondering if I have to then initiate it as a website in order to do no. it. No, you just go into the settings on GoDaddy. Yeah, and you point it to your other website, so it's oh, okay. an automatic forward. Good. You know. Yeah, you don't have to. It, it's it, it'll, it'll cost you about two cents. What happened to Marjorie? She was yelling at the people at HSBC and logged off. You yeah, can't hear her. Oh, here we go. Hey, Jeff's coming back here. I, I'm trying to figure something else out. Maybe Shecky can help me with this or anybody. I have Disney Plus. I love. I like Disney Plus. It's really pretty good. They've done some nice stuff, don't you think, Shecky? I mean, it's a it, it, yeah. It, you can go it's back. a good site. A lot of curated stuff that you know that if you Song of the South isn't there, but a lot of curated stuff. <laughs> uh, and um, uh, so uh, Patrick loves The Mandalorian, but he can't see it because he doesn't have Disney Plus. But he has a Yoda, Baby Yoda doll, couple of them, you know. And I said, you you want to get it for a month, get the free couple of weeks, no, and get no, rid of it. No, I I looked it up. And it said you can have up to seven people. Oh, right. Listed, you have, right. Right. Or you can have four people uh, 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 watching it at the same time. Mm -hmm. okay, four of those watching at the same time. And they said your uh, four people can be, uh, your people who are have access to the site can be anywhere in the country. So I have mm -hmm. a total of seven people I can allow to watch. Mm -hmm. Disney. How are they? And I think it's only you and me at this point in your account. Well, no, no, Patrick is there. 
And I okay. put Mar. I just put Marjorie on there, and I'm going to put our friend Natalia on there. Oh, how are they making money that way? I mean, it's they say right there. I read it. You you know you can have it. I can have somebody in because Cal they're telling advertisers or whoever we've got yeah. seven hundred million people, even though it's just Alex Bennett. Oh, okay. Or, it, or, or in other words, I'm counted as a subscriber when they go to an advertiser or whatever they go to because yep. I'm part of your account. Yeah, that's interesting. No, but, but mine's only a singular account. Doesn't matter. They know I'm part of your account. Okay. They know how many logins you have. Yeah, if you have six users on one account. No, they don't set. know that you're you're part of it. All you know well, is that on the screen, don't you have each user? I have a picture of yes, I have each of the users, but I don't have their information it doesn't say rick Sheckman, for instance it, it doesn't need to they, it doesn't they're matter they're just logins counting. with their own profiles uh there's no real profile there it's just you know a little yeah but but icon. if if you if you click on yours mm -hmm. based on what you watch and mm -hmm. then click on rick's for what he watches he's going to get a different entry screen because he's a different person well he's like gonna, in my house my yes. wife watches weird shit on that, netflix that i don't like yeah. She has her own. She well, has her they, own. they really don't have, I think, uh, uh, maybe maybe they do have a no, different. Disney Plus knows exactly what I've watched using your account. They don't know it's right. him, but they know it's a being. That's oh, different. right. I mean, if I go over to Shecky's account, which I can do, in fact, she can go over to my account for all that matters. Uh, it, it just, you know, it just goes to the stuff. Like if you've watched something halfway through, you can go to that and it'll go halfway through because each uh, of those people... Uh, I remember. Right, because they, they're logging me. Yeah. So if I stop watching something 20 minutes in, I can go back to the beginning, you know, where I, I left I, off. I, right. I, think, I got this letter from Disney Plus going, why don't you subscribe to Disney Plus for a year for a friend and give it to them as a present? I got a better idea. <laughs> I'll give them my sign in and give it to them as a present. Okay. Where, where do they, don't they think that people are going to be no um, most of america are stupid yeah they're, but they're not not saying you they're can't going to washington on wednesday <laughs> like, I, they, there's not like protest in front of the capitol yeah, yeah but it's not netflix like doing like, anything to prevent this okay netflix does that my all my kids have I, yeah like, I, all just the country. Put, I just put marjorie on there on disney plus so she has yeah, her little like, icon and I, I, Marjorie, I have to give you have to give you the stuff to give Natalia so she can use the account. I put her up there. Well, be careful, Alice, because Marjorie's going to log in to see what you're watching and see all those. Thank you. you all the, all the <laughs> still on hold. But you know, that, it's, it's in their best interest, as you were saying. That princess porn. So one, you know, one Alex sent a day. different viewer. <laughs> <laughs> my wife is going crazy and she's drinking now which means that after the show she's going to beat me <laughs> so. you never look so happy in your life <laughs> <laughs> by the way i looked at tcm on the hbo max thing that it's all new films they're like 10 films from the 30s. So Alex, no, they're, they're, no, they're no really old films. They're, they're good films. I mean, a lot of like... Rosh oh, I'm not Mon saying they're not good films. Not what... When I want go to watch TCM, their app, yeah. they're old films. Right? Yeah. They're old films. Yeah. On HBO Max now, they've got old Cinemax series on there. I'm watching this thing called The Warrior, which is a script that I think Bruce Lee originally wrote. That's why it's HBO Max. Yeah, it's yeah, it's it's silly uh, kung fu bullshit, but it's kind of fun to watch. Yeah, yeah. Um, but um, anyway, um, uh, yeah, it, it, you know, I mean, it, it, yeah, there is a, but there are a lot of films there, Shaggy. It, yeah, but they're all films from the '60s, '70s, and '80s. I don't care. You know what I just subscribed to? I just yeah, they're there. That's but great. I, I subscribed to it without commercials, and then I decided with commercials, and then I decided I would subscribe to it without commercials. Is Peacock? They've got a, they got a ton of Universal films in there. You know, uh, it's like yeah, but what they, era? Well, I don't think they go back to the well. Let's see, Deanna Durbin. Well, she was at Universal, wasn't she? They've got all the horror movies. She saved Universal. Yeah. Huh? They've got all the Universal horror movies. She saved Universal when they're going bankrupt. Uh, Deanna Durbin. Yeah. Yeah. 
That was the changeover from the Carl Lemley but, era. Well, I know you've always been fascinated by Diana Durbin. Does anybody know who we're talking about? No. no. Really? I mean, I'm not, I've never been a big fan of hers, but but she wonderful is, and performer. I know, and I know who she was. She got Robert. She got her first kiss on screen from Robert Stack. Am I right? Everybody, anybody remember who Robert Stack was? Stack. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, okay. If Deanna Durbin had been in The Untouchables, they might have remembered her. No, you know. she moved to France in 1949 and never came back. Really? Nice. Could She could have had a further career, couldn't she have, in the United States? She was another one of those, like Alice Faye, just like to the guard on the way out the door. Here are the keys to the um, my trailer. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking at her picture. I've never seen her before. She was didn't she live a long life? I think right? she yeah. died about two years ago, like ninety. Uh, who was the kitty star I was talking about the other day that I watched the movie of? Uh, oh, um, Baby Peggy. Baby Peggy. Baby Peggy goes back to what nineteen thirty two. Thirty two. Thirty one. Thirty two. No, twenty two. Twenty two. Twenty two. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Baby Peggy was one of the biggest stars in America for. About eight years. Six years, maybe. Six years, and then two years, She, they tried to see if they could... Like an R gang kid. You eventually, you, you know, aged out yeah. of the R gang. Films, well, the trouble you know. with all these kid actors, some of them are terrific. I mean, baby Peggy was amazing, actually. Uh, they can take direction. They've got takes they can do. Sh Shirley Temple could dance with Bilbo Jangles Robinson, you know. And then all of a sudden... They need a brazier. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's over. It's through. Yeah, it, worked, it worked for Natalie Wood. Well, yeah. Natalie <laughs> Wood, though, do. Natalie Wood was a minor kid film star. She was. Yeah, Miracle on 34th Street and a couple yeah. of other things. Yeah, but until, she wasn't the star of those films. No, until the Nicholas Trey era, you know, until Rebel Without a Cause. Until Rebel it, Without a Cause. So she just simply, she was allowed to grow up, you know? But when you're baby Peggy, and you're, you're at two years old, you're in movies because you're so cute and irresistible. By eight, you're getting pretty ugly, you know, and <laughs> you're not, so she, she, she was washed up at eight, wasn't she? Something like that? Pretty much, hmm? pretty much. Yeah. Oh, what do you, what, what do you, <laughs> how, many minutes, how many minutes, Marjorie? 40? You, you know, you, well, is she shouting? And I can hear her. I can hear her. <laughs> and muted. Isn't that, is that her, Rick? 41 minutes, 41 minutes and 15 seconds. I think that's Sienna Durbin. She's that's older it. there. I'm putting it on mute again because I'm on hold with her. Okay, well, just shout when you need to turn it back on. <laughs> yes, Andrew, that was Deanna. <laughs> yeah. My fun toys. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's a very nice background you have there, Andrew. And now I have Deanna Durbin talking to me on the show. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, okay. There she is. Anyway, um, so um, what else is happening in the world? Did you all have a nice new year? Yeah, I was talking to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Before, we were doing the show the other night. And you were here. And so was Jeff. Yeah. And Charlie, great. you didn't show up to that one, did you? I didn't know about it. Oh, I well, you know, I put it up on Facebook when I'm gonna. Well, I wasn't online. I was yeah. watching my James Bond movies. Oh, did you get through all? I'm gonna smoke a joint. <laughs> <laughs> you know, do it right here. Early, see the Tanya Roberts died. Yesterday. Yeah, I saw. I just watched View to a Kill. I can't believe that. Jeez. No, wait a minute. Now, uh, hold, uh, only a you... walking dog came home and dropped dead. Yeah. Who was this? Tanya, Tanya Roberts. Roberts. Angels. Oh, well, anyway, and she's a so you, girl in yeah, how, how many show. did you get through all of them? No, I got two more. I still have to do Skyfall and Spectre. And yeah, Spectre. Okay, so so far of the how many films is that? That's 23 so far, 25 wow. altogether. 23 so far. Uh, so there are 25 total, right? Oh, right now, yeah. Of the 23 you've watched, which one was the best and which one was the worst? Oh no, I love them all. Oh, come on. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Come on. 
You, it, oh, come on, the ones, the ones with the Cracker love... Sheriff were horrible. Yeah, how about how about View to a Kill was horrible. It was terrible. Oh, I don't know. It's typical James Bond. I he, was, no, you, not really. You, was that the one in San Francisco? Yeah. Yeah, that was the one. Oh, I love that the with them up that big cable up on on the Golden Gate Bridge. Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> I got sick to my stomach watching that. That was wonderful. I thought Grace Jones was a great character in that movie. I thought she was a really good Bond villain. Who? Grace Jones. Grace Jones. Yeah. 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 But who was the other villain in that one? Don't tell him, Charlie. It was the low point in Christopher Walken's career. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Are you going to the bridge? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bond? He always sounds like he always sounds like his voice is on a on a bad hookup. Yeah. You know? I guess breaking up. Because, uh, Kevin Pollack said to me once, anytime you want to do an impression of uh, Christopher Walken, just take a word and separate it into into two syllables. You know, if it's one word like bond, you go bond. You know. <laughs> <laughs> but uh so you watched uh you watched all those okay yeah yeah what were we gonna marjorie and i were gonna watch all of something uh the other day and then i said nah i'm in the midst uh, with a friend from europe we talk about it we're doing all 50 woody allen movies which i've done before but the 50 wow. of them it's a lot wow. of movies well i've done all 50 woody allen films but at separate times. Yeah, I'm doing them in all the, chronologically now and uh, going through them. Were, were there 50 films? There were the new one that he's has gotten the can. It will be 50. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Um, well, the first film goes back to 65, so it's what 55 right. years ago. Yeah. So. I mean, basically, it's a movie a year. You know. Uh, do, so. do, you, do you know he has a very hard time getting people to back his films now? Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, but he also Amazon, makes it. But, Amazon dropped. I mean, so, you know. I mean, yeah. they finally got a distributor for Rainy Day in New York, which Amazon wouldn't show. Yeah. Uh, Richard is here. Let me see here. Uh, I haven't. I, 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 have you been on before, Richard? Oh, turn on your microphone, Richard. Richard, turn on your microphone. Oh, there he is. Wait a minute. You got to go down to where it's. There you there. go. Yeah. Have you, have, you been you on? have you been on before? Oh, yeah. I've been I, I've been on a lot before, but it's uh, probably a year ago. I, I used to be a regular for oh, a while. Yeah. Oh a yeah, you're from ago. you're in uh, you're where? Norway, Norway, oh, yeah. Norway. Norway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gee. <laughs> so uh, so it's a long time ago. So I, so I want to call in again. Yeah. Like, uh, okay. Well, you, uh, and it looks like you're not having the technical problems you used to have. Uh -huh. Uh, yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, <laughs> that was on Skype. Although a lot of people, I'll tell you, a lot of people have uh, have technical. I I, uh, just, I, I, I watched uh, Charlie. You watched the, uh, the Bond movies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. me too, me too. Oh, I, okay. I I came I I come to next uh, one's a bad one. The the one with Conway, the one uh, the the remake of Thunderbolt. Oh yeah, never say that. never again. Uh, That's probably the worst. Yeah. One. I don't yeah, think yeah. so. I don't think so. I like nah. that film. I thought it had a great villain. I thought the guy was playing the villain. I can't remember his name. Wasn't, wasn't, the, wasn't the work John Moore of movie better? What? Which one? Hey, well, this, uh, this, the, 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 there was uh, one with um, Conrad. Uh, never Say Never. Yeah, that was Thunderball. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's a uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, Never Say Never. And then there was a more film, same year, uh, Bond. Yeah, that uh, was due to a kill the same year that. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're a kill. Ah, yeah, the not not more. Um, well, I'll tell you what's one of my favorites. Okay, uh, yeah. is is, <coughs> and uh, I know Shecky, you you're into Bond, aren't you? You have watched them. Are we talking on Her Majesty's Secret Service? Yes, I like yeah. that one. I think that's one of the best ones. Oh yeah, yep, it's yeah. awesome. Well, it's one of the most important ones. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but uh, it's not the best one. You know, I think. I'll, I'll get you, I, I, every time I watch Game of Thrones, all I had to say to myself was, "What the <laughs> fuck happened to Diana?" He's eighty something years old. That's what happened. <laughs> he passed away. That's what happened to him. I mean, one morning, I want to know. Years ago, uh, uh, Jackie Coogan was the cutest kid in the movies. Yeah. Okay, yeah. he was the kid with Charlie Chaplin, adorable kid, great kid actor. 
and grew up to be Uncle Fester on the Adams family. <laughs> and I just wonder what morning Coogan looked in the mirror and went, what the fuck happened to me? He was a very creepy human being. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah. How, how do you know that? I know people who knew him in the army, <laughs> someone who knew him in the army, and he was the crudest man you'd ever want to meet. Crude in what way? I mean... Okay, I'll, I'll kind of clean this up. But he would <laughs> shake the hand that was up the blank of Betty Grable. Oh. He would... Because they were married for a year or two. He married Betty Grable? Wow. What eight. morning did she wake up and look in the mirror, mirror and say, <laughs> why did I marry Jackie Coogan? <laughs> but no, this friend of mine who was... I, he's lo probably long dead, but told me this is the kind of thing Jackie Coogan would say to soldiers. Oh. Take the hand that, you know, blah, blah, blah. It was up Betty Grable's yeah. vaginal open. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if they, technically it's known as a hoo-ha, but I'll go. I'll, and I'm not, I'm not using the word that he used. The problem with hoo-ha. But it's, it's a it, British it, term that is not considered a curse word in Britain, so. Right. What? The C word. Oh, the C word. Cunt. Yeah. <laughs> no, I know. Here's the thing. I, I talked to, uh, what was the guy who did uh, um, uh, Live Aid and things like that? Uh, the singer. Uh, uh, Geldof. Yeah, Bob Geldof. Yeah. Uh, the Geldof, I said, uh, tell me this. I said, every time I see something, uh, a movie or something like that, guys are calling guys <laughs> cunts. I said, why is that? He said, well, in, in Britain, we just consider it a uh, term It's a of, different phrase. It's, it's a different term word. of, of yeah. teams, of, of being camaraderie, you know? Yeah. Uh, and uh, so I had a promo. He made a promo for me, which I don't know where it is. I probably could find it. But he says, uh, you're listening to Alex Bennett. Uh, you're a real cunt. <laughs> and uh, we use that on the air because, and, and uh, the point was that that word is not does not have the same meaning in Britain. No, it's an yeah. acceptable word in you know acceptable in Britain. Yeah. We actually the same thing in in Norway in northern Norway. They have the same kind of like uh, rougher language than southern. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Oh, oh, by like way, fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes. <laughs> yeah. No, it's not fifty. It's not fifteen minutes. It's, yeah. Uh, yeah, but you have the same. Uh, uh, what? Yeah, yeah. In Northern Norway, uh, you can call a guy like a horse cock, and they mean like a, that's a good guy. <laughs> that is a horse cock. Yeah, for yeah, 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 actually, that's a, that's a, that's actually a term that's a security <laughs> used, card. Yes. Is security number? What? Oh, the whole card number. Okay. Uh, oh, okay, don't say the card number. We can I'll, hear you. Yeah, we can hear you. <laughs> I'll, I'll mute. Um, I'll mute. <laughs> mute her. There we go. Okay, I muted you. Okay. I don't want you giving. Me the card. Bad enough. We're stealing Alex's auction. We don't need to take her credit card. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll use her credit card to pay for the auction. <laughs> yeah. But in Britain, put a thousand dollars down on gabnet.com, will you, dear? <laughs> in Britain, the C word is okay, but theirs, they have a different F word. They can't say the word fanny online or uh, on the air. Really? The word fanny wow. is. Is like well, Fanny the for them is the there. other side of the body. Yeah, that's right. Fanny's not the body. Well, I like, always laugh when they talk about fanny packs. Well, yeah, when things go to shit, it's, you know, it tits up, and that's a normal phrase in Britain. Yeah. But yet you can't use it here. You know. They also, besides cunt, they call each other twat, too. So. Yeah. 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 Um, well, we have really uh, raised the bar on this. We want to make sure Alex can't monetize this on Google and uh, YouTube. <laughs> well, I'm going to try and monetize it. And let's see what happens. Okay. <laughs> well, You'll be suspended wait, wait, for a month. Well, wait a minute. I could make the argument, guys, these aren't dirty words in England. Okay. <laughs> well, we've kind of said that as we say the word. Yeah. That in England, it's, you know... Uh, An okay word. I, there are certain words in other countries which we use, which are considered terrible in those countries. I'm trying to remember what they are now because I do Wrong. remember a few. What? What? 
Trump. Trump? <laughs> no, Trump. Donald Donald Trump. Oh, Trump. Trump. <laughs> oh, Trump. Yeah. I think everyone can remember the first time a Brit told them they were going to light up a fag and wondered what the hell they were talking about. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, Marjorie, Marjorie has a has a app on her uh, computer that every time the word Trump comes up, like in an article or whatever, it changes it automatically to Drumpf, <laughs> which That's was cool. the original family name, yeah. but they oh, changed wow. it because I don't think we would have put up with a president Drumpf. <laughs> <laughs> well, it didn't stand. I'm going to say presidential enough, but just in general for his industries. Yeah. Trump, yeah. you know, bridge, you know. They don't ever talk about his, uh, his grandfather. Who well, got he was a, um, ran a whorehouse in Alaska. A whorehouse in Alaska. Yeah. Yeah. Now he's running a whorehouse in Washington. What, what, <laughs> <laughs> who who well, doesn't have a grandfather that ran a whorehouse? What? Who doesn't have a grandfather that ran a horror? <laughs> you don't? My, my grandfather played the violin. Mine ran a mortuary. Is that similar? What? Mine mine ran a funeral home. Is that similar? Uh, that's similar. That's okay. Similar. Just making sure. Far away. Yeah. Mine was in the black market in the rag business, though everyone in the family denies it. I think my grandfather was a violinist. I think that was his instrument. Yeah, because my uncle played the piano. And my aunt played the harp for Spike Jones. Oh, oh cool. And yeah. Uh, she used to, uh, when they come into the Golden Gate Theater, they would hire her because she lives in San Francisco. And they had this gag where there was this harpist on stage. And yeah. she's sitting there through the whole show knitting. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then at one point, there's a break, and she does a glissando on the harp and then goes back to knitting. <laughs> Well, in those days, they would do six shows a day at the St. Francis Theater, okay? Yeah, yeah. And uh, it, 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 she did six shows of knitting for an hour, because they were hour shows for an hour. And by the end of the week, the knitting went all the way, she said, across the stage. Oh, my and, God. And that's what she was paid for, to do one glissando per show. is a joke. So, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, by the way, Charlie, which which uh, Bond movie was your favorite again? You said so. Oh, Alex one? asked me, but probably probably um, the, the uh, one with the, you said Golden Gate, the one with the. Uh, uh, well, that wasn't my favorite. No, my favorite was probably a Sean Connery one. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was probably maybe Diamonds Are Forever. Mm. Yeah, that's also Sound of All. Yeah, uh, uh, but you Ball, said something. Yeah. I'll tell you, what? I think the best of the, of the Conneries was what uh, Russia with oh, love. from Russia with Love, followed by yeah. Goldfinger. Which I said they were all good. I love them. set the format. The first yeah. two films didn't set the format. No, that came in the in the uh, yeah. the, odd, the next one. Yeah, like, 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 like a cult, yeah. Yeah, Goldfinger. Goldfinger. Goldfinger, well, yeah. they, got, they got a budget once it's a they good movie though. Doing gold. Yeah. Oh yeah. By the way, we haven't heard like from Jeff. No pay for bucks, yeah. you know. We haven't heard from Jeff today. Jeff, are you there? Yeah, I am, but I'm having uh, technical problems today. Really? What are your technical problems? I don't know. My computer is a little bit out, and uh, I usually leer, listen to a plug, oh. and the plugs are out of. Gas, so I got to charge them up and things like oh, that. Oh, oh, you have the the uh, the uh, wireless. Yeah. wireless. Yeah. My plumber says to just jiggle the handle. <laughs> <laughs> it does work, I think. You know. Uh, I love Jimmy Dean as Howard Hughes. Let me let me ask let me ask Richard in Norway how's how's COVID doing there? Is it a big hit? No, actually, <clears throat> well, uh, we've been pretty lucky. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Sweden, they had a really big hit. Didn't Sweden um, decide they were going to go with the theory of um, yeah, so, yeah, and yeah, work? Yeah, yeah and, it, and 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 we just worked out terrible. And uh, we, uh, Norway, I think we got about how many dead is it? It's not that much, uh, like well, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, under a hundred or a hundred or so. That's what city bad. in Norway do you live? Yeah, yeah, it's it's pretty, but uh, yeah, like 
and something like that. There's a hundred a hundred deaths you're talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in Sweden they had like ten thousand deaths. Yeah. So but you're gonna but have that, to work pretty fast to catch up with us. Yeah. <laughs> sure. We had almost four thousand in one day. Yeah, I know. I heard about it. I heard about it. It's terrible. Texas really doing well, Charlie. Really doing yeah. well there. <laughs> uh, looking oh, yeah. at the numbers, and I went, geez, almighty. There, there are 25,000, which puts but, 10,000 behind New York who caught this thing when we didn't know it was coming. Okay. You guys, you always, you always, you always wear masks, right? Uh, yes, oh, yeah. we do. Yeah, here in Norway, oh, it's, it's, it's not, we, we, uh, somebody does, but it's not like a regular thing, actually. Wait a Hold on a second. Where am I? There we go. Yeah. I looked at uh, uh, Brazil and. Uh, oh, that's, my, that's terrible. That's terrible. Nobody, nobody even wears a mask. Yeah, that's yeah. why they've got over 10 million cases now. They've got, they're yeah. doing pretty badly too, but we're, we're, we're number one in the world. I believe the, the, uh, the, the president of Brazil <laughs> is, has been telling citizens to mock those that wear the masks. To yeah, make just like Trump. I was on the phone yesterday with my accountant there, and he's got COVID. And he said that uh, he, he's been out in public with the mask on, and people reach over and grab it and say, what are you doing? What's wrong with you? I don't know if any of this group knows, but our good friend Charlie, not Charlie, Rob. No. Not Rob. Tony? Uh, Tony. Yeah. Tony. I'll remember. I took a pill last night that makes me kind of goofy. Uh, <laughs> Tony uh, got uh, COVID. No, oh, and so yeah. did his mother, and so did his oh, brother, and, sister and brother, and, sister and brother, and, brother and his sister probably too. Yeah, the sister yeah. probably so gave. Here's guys. what happened: they were they were a bubble. I think uh, 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 Tony, his mother, and his brother, because they all live in the same house together. Daughter comes in from the outside, gives mother a bath. Oh. Uh, every couple of days because mom gets to smell funky and uh, gives her a bath and then leaves. Well, that's breaking the bubble. And yeah. she's a teacher and she got it from the students. And she goes home one day and she's yeah. not feeling well. And then mom comes down with it two days later. Shit. And Tony th then went she, down. She, she's pretty old. Her, that, her, her, uh, Tony's mom. Not that old. She's only 80. Now, Stop oh, oh, right oh. there. Stop right oh, there. Sorry, sorry. So stop, I thought it was stop right there. Oh. Okay, Wait, okay. Yeah. Sorry, 80? Alex. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. I didn't I saw if she he, she was in on something 90s or something. No, she's a, she's 80. She's younger <laughs> okay, than okay. I am. I could go yeah. up with her on a date. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You just turned 81, right? Huh? I just turned just 81. 81, yeah, yeah. 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 In in December. But I probably couldn't date her because she doesn't want to go out with older men. So you know, uh, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> but anyway, so I, we're, 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 I'm, my heart goes out to Tony because he's really dear. But luckily, everyone, it's all been very mild cases. Yes, the mother was in the hospital but got out. But mm -hmm. also the more because of her age and his heart rate yeah. problems. Yeah, yeah. So he was not breathing problems or anything like that. Right. So she's not, uh, not, not. Is it too late for the vaccine for them then? No, they gave her remdesivir. Right they gave her remdesivir. Oh, did they? Okay. Yep. Yep. That seemed to nip it in the bud, I guess. Um, you know, uh, but the doctors did send her home, so I guess she's okay. You know, she okay. certainly didn't need any kind of breathing assistance or anything like that. So, but uh, you know, to, uh, to it could have been worse. Huh? It could have been oh, worse. Could have been a lot worse. Mm. It's scary though. So. Like that Louisiana congressman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. He died at what? 44? 41. He was 41. 41. Yeah. No but pre existing a, there's, there's, there, you know, It was a heart attack. You know, they're kind of playing a game. Well, you know, there is a new thing that you see every now and then, and then we're going to probably have to get going here. Uh, but you do see in the news is died of complications from, I think that's what they said for uh, Dawn, Dawn, Wells. Dawn Wells from, uh, from Gilligan's Island. They said died of complications 
from COVID. So probably it was a condition she had that might have killed her, at least put her in a bad way. But because of the COVID, it just made it worse and she was gone, you know. Oh, well. Hey, listen, we've run out of time here. Gosh, another out. This is so much fun on Monday. Yeah. Gee, if I only did this, I think I'd be satisfied, you know? <laughs> uh, uh, and so would you, because most of you don't do the nighttime show. Uh, uh, Scott doesn't anymore, uh, hardly ever. Uh, right. uh, Jeff does and Charlie does, but mm. the rest of you are, are original to this show. And Marjorie doesn't call my late show. Right. She's asleep at the time. And I haven't been on for a long time. Yeah, well, good to see you, Richard. And also, technically, uh, Thank it's you. working better. I used to hate having you call yeah, me on because of your technical yeah. problems, but I, I know. you know, you're you're perfectly in sync, and it's a Fine. tribute to Zoom that it cures all ills. Uh, let me say goodbye <laughs> to Steve Bender. Let's say goodbye to Mike Chisholm. Mike, have a nice time up there in Canada. Where? How's your How's your COVID doing? It's we're uh, we're stable where we are. I'm about two hours outside of Revelstoke, so you'll you'll know that reference. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we're, we're pretty stable where we are. Yeah. Well, go knock on Jim's door and make sure he's still alive. Okay, would you for me? Get a chance. Uh, Scott Bonica, thank you. Rick Check, of course, the oldest friend on this panel that I have in in, in my life. I, I'm trying to think. Well, All Steve Wine the- goes further back. So Steve Wine goes back by a couple of months. Yeah. And uh, Andrew Deutsch, thank you so much, Andrew. Thanks to Len LaFrisco, Charlie Wallace. Thank you, Richard, from Norway. Nice to see you. Pleasure, pleasure. And I, I'll call in more often. I'll please, call in more often. Please do. You, and thank, thank you very much, Jeffrey. Good having you as here. As much as too. I could. Uh, let me say goodbye to, uh, to everybody. Uh, and uh, 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 Have a nice day. Okay. And thank you all for watching as well. Bye bye, everybody. All right. Bye. Bye.